is the first South African woman to receive the U.S. State Department's International Woman of Courage Award. The anti-crime activist has made her voice heard even as she and her family were forced into witness protection for the past few years. While recipients would usually receive their accolade in Washington, Pasco attended a ceremony at the Cape Town Consulate earlier this week with her family. We're honored to have her join us now today. She's on the line via Zoom. Roshanda Oru, uh, I've seen you on so many, uh, sadly, we've met so many times before on crime scenes, usually involving children that have been murdered. Congratulations. I'm just so sorry that you are in witness protection uh, and that uh, you've had to sacrifice so much for your activism. Um, Anita, I can just say, you know, um, the acknowledgement in itself, it feels very good. Um, at first, I, I couldn't believe it is happening um, because that was net, not my expectation. But, um, you know, um, the three years has been long. I've, I felt um, I went through a process of, of uh, being outcasted, isolated from everything, not being amongst my friends and family anymore. And this just um, um, inspired me um, to really know that, you know, no matter how much hardship, if you do good with true heart and soul, it will always come back to you. So, yes, I'm sending out a lot of positive energy to all our young people, our women activists out there on the Cape Flip, um, to say, do not give up. Someday something good will come. And, and, and it can, it's not in our time when we expect it to happen, but it does happen. Therefore, I can say, you know, this is my payment. This is my payment in a way that I've never expected. Uh, Ru, just tell me why you were in witness protection, I think from 2016. Uh, as far as I know, just very scant details are that you testified against a gangster in a major trial um, and then with, uh, you and your family were forced into witness protection. Yesterday was the, the, the uh, move out of Manenberg and... And, you know, it brought back so much memories because of um, that um, I testified um, against two gang leaders, um, one from the 60s and one from the Clever Kids gang. Both received life, uh, one received life, 120 years, and um, they were released um, after three years in December. And um, I still can't understand it. But I think the sadness for me was getting the news on, on Saturday where the, the um, one of 20 years, Naim, was shot and killed in the current gang violence happening there. And so, you know, it's so sad. It's very sad for me. Um, though they wished um, death on me. Um, and um, in regard to the, the, the information I received, Naim was, the person giving um, orders for the gun and the bullet to take me out. And, and to hear how people rejoice his death, um, it didn't sit well with me because even I, though I took a stand to try against them, the stand I took was to kill them. The stand I took was to say, I'm not happy and I'm not going to be silent um, about your wrongdoing. And this is the the most way I can give love to you is to give life to you, you know. Um, if you are incarcerated, maybe you will think and, and realize that what you are doing is not what we want in our society. <coughs> okay. We've got a wrap. Uh, thanks, Rukshanda. Thank you so much again. And uh, I hope I don't meet you... I don't go out about to crime scenes as much anymore, but I hope that's not where we next meet. And I can tell you, Taps, uh, Rukhsanda is, she has been tireless. I mean, yeah. that woman is up every night uh, when people are in trouble, when kids need a safe place to go. She deserves that award. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, hats off to her. Congratulations.